again. The release handle to release. About to piss me off. She don't know how to answer the phone. It was on what? Time to hit the fix. Sporting guys. <laughs> With my slot. Where is my wife? I promise y'all, this this does not be a joke. Media throat. Yeah. <laughs> not like that. Big huge pause. What that? They're going on, everybody. They're going on, good people. So, if you didn't watch last vlog, go watch it because we picking right off where we left off. We picking right up where we left off. Mm -hmm. We in Connecticut, fixing to head to New Jersey. And yeah, we got some stuff we want to do when we get to New Jersey. So, let's just, hopefully we don't run into traffic. Traffic wasn't too bad coming up. If you watched last vlog, you know that already. It wasn't too bad coming up. But it is four o'clock. So I'm finna drive now, so I'm finna be through the track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna get us there. Let's go uh hook up the trailer. <laughs> Cause I'm excited, so yeah, go get there. Not excited for the traffic. Excited for what you wanna do. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Crazy? Show y'all what we got. If they don't have a what you call it on it, a seal on it already. See. Okay, they don't. See, see. I hate touching this after. Wash my hands. I'm not getting in here. I don't know what this is. It's kind of far back. It's not like on the edge like it normally is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all can't even see. It's pitch black in there. That's how far back it is. 
So yeah, I'm gonna just close it back up. Cause pointless to being open. Like I couldn't even read what it said because it was so far back. So Okay, look, I might need my two hands. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Don't play with me. Forgot the lock. Let me go get the lock. Babe finally just got the landing gear up. I don't know what the heck be going on with the landing gear. Can you get me the lock out of there? Thank you. Gracias. What well, well, we got back there? Huh? Can't see what's in there. You can't see? What, they got a bulkhead? It's just far back. It's just too far back? Oh, so we light? Like, we light? No, I ain't, ain't got to see. It's all good. I like three times. <laughs> 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 that, that, that landing gear was a nappy-headed bastard. <laughs> this thing was hard. <laughs> I'm like, I know it ain't me. No, the, the, uh, the handle was bent. So I bent it, I bent it back. I thought I broke it at first, but. I hate this lock. Hoo wee. I'm a little bit out of breath out of there. You're gonna be out of breath again, I'm gonna make it again. That thing had me working my, my muscles. Lock, right? <laughs> I got it. Here you go. If you had your gloves on, you probably would have been. I really right. can't do it. I never do that with my lock, sir. So put my that why you on. can't lock it, honey? I can't lock it with the gloves. You gotta have. I'm saying you gotta have the numbers. <laughs> you gotta have the numbers on here. It ain't gonna lock if the numbers ain't up here. Crazy tail, girl. Well, that's what you're for. You're here to help me. Many times you lock this lock, you should know that. Well, I don't, so. Thanks for your help. <laughs> you will. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we are about to roll out. Well, I'm going to eat first and then we're going to leave. I don't think we've been dispatched yet. Dang, we're not. We ain't got no reason. We ain't got no real fuel ride, right, dude. But we need one. So we we at, uh we under half, and I mean for 200 miles under half is good, but if we get stuck in traffic, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem if we get stuck in traffic. Traffic hasn't been bad thus far, but it did send baby down to like a little residential area momentarily. So I had to reset the GPS so it could keep on the interstate. People driving crazy. Everybody else is driving speed limit. You going eight in the van? In the van. The, hey, the vans be the craziest ones That's though. Crazy. Sure do. But I will say about this co-pilot, I don't know what they did to their co-pilot, but this co-pilot on point though. It's, it's, it's really on point because I've been putting in the addresses on my phone and I always compare the two routes and this one been almost identical to the phone almost every time like even with toes and everything so I don't know what they did to their co-pilot they must got the latest update that we was missing or something in the, in the freight line because okay, this one do what it need to do for real the only reason they sent her down in the residential area is because we accepted a faster way to avoid traffic but after going through that, they was like, yeah, I'd rather just sit in traffic and go down yeah, through these like, tight roads. Like I'm going through West Virginia. 
That's what I feel like. Oh, no, nah, it, it ain't nothing compared to that right there. Terrible. Man, Highway 119, no sir, no ma'am. We good on that. So we should be back in NJ by 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time. So, uh, I probably won't see y'all until then. They do, does, do, does, whatever the right terminology is. I don't know, I'm tired. Have a fuel stop nonetheless, which is in New Jersey though. It's like 10 minutes from the terminal, I think. It's right there, so. Basically be at the terminal by the time we make it to the fuel stop. And I might be up by then, so we'll just see y'all at the uh, fuel stop. <laughs> yeah. I legit asked him, babe, did you set this co-pilot to the fuel station? Well, I'm at the terminal. This is why I like checking stuff, putting stuff up there myself. Because why am I at the terminal? Now I gotta go back outside the terminal and go six miles down, which is not far. It's not far at all, but I could be unhooking from the trailer and I could be going to get a shower right now. So, we gotta go back out to the fuel station, then come back here. And I gotta do all three because the fuel, the um, the reefer, as y'all saw earlier, didn't have hardly nothing in it. So, gotta go back out to the fuel station. So, y'all, we finally made it to this fuel station. We are at a petrol right now. I don't recall, me personally, I don't remember um, ever fueling at a petrol, at least not in New Jersey for sure. But I'm here. Um, I don't like it. It's so dark here. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fuel, do all three, and then we're gonna go back to the design. So I'll see y'all in a sec. Y'all, so tell me while I'm out here fueling, guess what happened? I ain't even showing it. I'm not even gonna show it. But look at my legs, bro. My socks are soaked. Stuff all over my leg. What do I what do I do to deserve fuel everywhere on me? Like I'm not just gonna do But you know what? I'm not gonna let it get to me tonight. Oh, and I almost cracked my nail. I did crack my nail. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not gonna let it get to me tonight. It is what it is. I'm gonna go take a shower anyway, so whatever but it's done now so i'm gonna put y'all in the truck i was gonna sit y'all up but i ain't gonna lie they kind of piss me off a little bit but i'm still gonna go ahead and fuel i just wanted to tell y'all that and we're going back to the terminal right after this so i'll see y'all at the terminal for sure So I somewhat got some backing 
it was hard this is what y'all was sitting on and y'all see how that's leaning yeah so that was pretty hard to keep y'all up there so i got a little bit of back and probably not much but y'all saw me set up or whatever hopefully i'll go back and look at the footage and see but i don't know why they still got this trailer right here but i'll be trying to dodge that little piece that's sticking out let me make sure y'all can see it that little piece that's sticking out, I'll be trying to make sure I, can, I dodge that so I won't hit it no more and mess it up. Can't mess that up no more, but you know. But there's y'all back in. Y'all, I really do not like this new fifth wheel release handle. I am struggling. I actually like the Freightliners better. Like, it's. I, I know y'all see how many times I tried to do it. I always try and try and try and try before I ask for help because I don't like asking for help. Especially if it's something that I can do. So I'm gonna try it. Woo, I'm definitely gonna take a shower. I obviously I gotta take a shower all this fuel on me, but I'm hot, tired. I bumped my shoulder um up under the trailer, so it's smut, nasty, black stuff all on me. It's probably in my hair too. But whatever, I'm not studying that. I'm just trying to get the freaking the release handle to release it's about to piss me off i have to come back here and take a breather because baby i'm hot goodness gracious i'm gonna try it about five more times <laughs> before i ask for help because i do not want to ask for help if it's something that i know how to do or i can figure it out oh my arm hurt mm -mm -mm. but yeah so i'm gonna sit y'all in the truck i'm not gonna watch, let y'all watch me struggle no more i'm gonna try it again and again and again and again until i get it because that's just the person i am i just have to Try until I can't no more. Now, if I can't do it, bag want to get out that truck and help me. Okay? Because that's what a man is for. But I'm going to try it again, y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Don't know when, but later. All right. Don't mind my hair. Um, I'm, I put it up so I can go take a shower. I finally going to go take a shower. But we are parked for tonight. And y'all have so many trucks here. Like, what, what's going on? Why y'all not giving people their loads? But yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower and get this disgusting diesel off of me and I will see y'all later on or whenever I see you to be honest. I don't know. What's going on, good people? So as y'all know, Bay went inside, took a shower. I just got back in the truck, cleaned myself up a little bit, did a little something something. And yeah. Bay was definitely agitated about something, so I actually went back and looked at the clips. And she said she was gonna let it get to it, but it, it kind of did. But one thing I definitely wanted to say though, because I went back and looked at looked at the clips, I did set that co-pilot to petrol. When she asked me what it was set to, it was definitely set to petrol. What threw it off? Remember, we said that the co-pilot had sent her down a residential area because we had accepted a new route to put her back just on the main interstate she decided she just wanted to sit in traffic instead of trying to go around traffic so what happened was when I reset it I reset it at the terminal instead of resetting it at Petro because if you have Petro selected already if, if not even just Petro if you have an address selected already it won't let you reselect that address without putting in another address or canceling it all together so what I had did was I had so I, when I reset it, I selected the terminal, but I had intentions on resetting it back to Petro. But I think we had started talking or something, and it slipped my mind. So that's why she came to the terminal instead of Petro. But like she said, it was six minutes away. It wasn't. It wasn't that deep. It was alright. But yeah, we just gonna chill, relax for the night, and in the morning we gonna get up and. We're going to get to moving because I got somewhere I want to go tomorrow. And y'all know y'all going to come along until we have our next load to wherever that may be because we don't even have a pre plan at the moment. But y'all see, I'm just sitting here chilling, relaxing. I was watching TV, but as I was watching the clips, the TV went to this home screen. But I'm finna get ready to play my game, though. That's what I'm definitely finna do. Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning. Man, I was in such a good mood this morning. Key word was, I, I'm still in a good mood, but I'm a, I'm, a little, I'm a little pissed now. I'm a little pissed right now, man. I got up this morning. I've been up probably around about, I don't know, probably since about 7, 8. It's 10.03 now. 
Eastern time. Got up, brushed my teeth, got myself together, washed my face, all that good stuff. Ate breakfast, I ain't you know what a bowl of cereal. Was playing my game, you know, having fun, enjoying a little downtime. And we get a pre-plan. So I'm excited. You know, that, that money, young, that money, we ready. So we get a pre-plan, I'm like, bet, let's see where we finna go. Scrolling on the tab, just scrolling. I said, no, that can't be right, that must be old. Let me scroll all the way back down and scroll back up a little bit more. We going back to God, Connecticut, man. Boy, I'm so hot right now. Oh, so hot. Look. I ain't even gonna say that. I ain't even gonna say that. I'm, I'm hot, though. Now, we told y'all before, we ain't the, we not the ones turn down money. And I think Lion Hall know that because we've never turned down a load. Like, you have the right to turn down a load. But if you turn it down, just know you're not getting no layover pay. But since we've been working here, we ain't never turned down no load. So, but I will say this. We will not, we won't be going back and forth to Connecticut and New Jersey. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. We ain't going to, we ain't going to play that game. I don't know what kind of sick joke this is, but we ain't going to play that game. We ain't just going to be going Connecticut, New Jersey, Connecticut, New Jersey, back and forth, back and forth. And the reason I say that is because, man, that is not a fun drive. And when I say it's not a fun drive, the traffic is like any else in the world, I believe. It don't even compare to California traffic when you're going through New York. Between 10 and 10 a.m. and 5 p.m., if you have to go through New York, just know you finna be 30 minutes to an hour to wherever you're trying to get to. And that ain't fun, especially doing it consistently. It's cool we sit in traffic one day, next three, four days, we good. But now going back and forth, back, no, no. That, that ain't cool, that ain't cool. But without further ado, I did hop. I did hop right on up. I ain't hesitate, I saw it. I'm like, all right, bet. We was already dispatched and everything. Got the pre-plan literally two minutes before we got dispatched. So clearly it was a last minute thing. Let me grab this lock. So it was definitely a last minute thing because if it was already scheduled, we would've got the pre-plan yesterday or last night, whatever the case may be. Or maybe even an hour or two beforehand. But no, we got the pre-plan two minutes later we was dispatched so i guess they they didn't have anybody else because like i said you got the you got the that's disgusting what the hell just dripped on me man look at that y'all see that that's so nasty it came from the trailer okay i'm not i'm not as disgusting now it, it just came from the trailer trailer cold condensation water anyway so like I was saying, you got the ability to turn down the load. Just know you're not gonna get paid for sitting wherever you're sitting. That's the only problem. So, I don't even, look at gummies, assorted gummies. Okay. So uh, they, they probably asked somebody else or plan to have somebody else run this load at first. Hold on, this trailer wanna give me some issues. Hold on, I'll get back with y'all. All right, now like I was saying, they probably planned on having somebody else do this load. And they probably asked a couple other line haul drivers. Cause usually Connecticut to New Jersey and back, that's usually a local route. So they probably asked somebody else, cause we did it yesterday. And normally they don't do that to a line haul driver two days in a row, unless it's like a, a last resort type thing. So somebody else probably turned it down because when I say there's so many trucks here, there's so many other drivers here. So somebody else probably turned it down. They like, no, I'm not doing that drive. Cause look, let, let me let me look at y'all again. When I tell y'all it is no fun making that drive, people continuously turn down those trips up there. Especially especially line haul driving. Now local loads, local drivers, I don't really know how that work. I don't know if they can turn down loads or not. I, I don't know. But line haul driver, when it comes to a local load, you can absolutely turn that load down. Again, you ain't gonna get paid for sitting, but you can turn that load down. So, yeah, like I said, y'all know me and baby ain't the ones to do that. We like our money, but another reason I say that trip ain't no fun because it's a waste of time. That should be a three and a half, maybe four hour drive up there and back. But the way traffic work, that could run you six to seven, even eight hours of your clock. Time is money, and that much wasted time, that's a waste. Yeah, all right. En enough of that. Let me go ahead. Uh, I got the trailer connected. Y'all saw that. 
turn the truck back on because it sounded like it turned off and it did. So let me just let me just get ready to go ahead and start heading out. I gotta run inside, get the paperwork, and and we gone. Hopefully see y'all in Connecticut. I will say yesterday was kind of smooth on my end. Baby didn't talk too much about her driving, her traffic situation, but it was actually smooth yesterday on my end. So let's just hope today goes the same way. Let's, let's, we gonna pray for it, actually. All right, family, we finna get ready. Roll out. And I was just thinking about what I was talking about, man. And I, and I don't think it's they're going back and forth to Connecticut. That, that'll be the problem. I think it's more so the timing. Cause like I said, anytime you're going up there between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m., that's when traffic is at its worst. Now, if they had us really, really, if they had us ready, say, late last night or early this morning to where we could bypass that traffic, I wouldn't mind, I, I, I wouldn't care. Because it's not the going to Connecticut itself that's a problem. It's what comes with going to Connecticut that's a problem, which is going through New Jersey which is that traffic at that time. Like I said, between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Honestly, you can probably close that window down to noon to 5 p.m., maybe even six, but we're closing down. So noon to 5 p.m., that, that's when it's at its worst. That's when you don't want to be going through there. So if they had us ready at a time where we could just, you know, get around that, and it's an alternative route instead of going through New York, but even then, going through the times we going through, you still get caught in traffic. And nobody, nobody likes being in traffic, let's, let's be real. And then I was thinking about it too. I think another reason why it bothers me is, is because, like I said, it's it's so many other drivers here. So many others. You can get a solo driver to do that drive there and back. Why waste your team hours to, to do that drive? But like I said, line haul drivers do have the ability to decline a load. So, that's that's probably what happened. Like I said, no nobody that works for this company that's line haul, like local loads. Period. I've talked to so many different line haul drivers that always decline local loads. Like they just don't do them. They they refuse to. But the number of drivers I've spoken with, line haul drivers I've spoken with, that will take a local load, they absolutely make themselves clear. That they don't they don't take the Connecticut local load. I mean, cause it, it just not it just isn't any fun, and, and it's not. But yeah, I, I think it's the timing more than anything else. Like I said, they had us ready early in the morning or late at night. Oh, they opened the gate for me. I was <laughs> gonna stop to take the camera out of the out of the windshield. I'm I'm still stop because obviously I can't take the camera out of the windshield moving. But yeah, I, I think that's all it is, man. It, it's just the timing. That's it. That's that's it. But we gonna make this money, man. I'm done renting. I ain't the one to usually complain, but I do like to get stuff off my chest when, especially when it's something I'm adamant about. And I'm, and I'm adamant about what I'm saying. I'm dead serious, <laughs> like so serious. <laughs> but yeah, see y'all when I see you. Hopefully, it's at Connecticut and we don't get stuck in any traffic. Matter of fact, we gonna pray about it. I ain't say my prayer. So when I stop to take this camera out the windshield, I'm gonna stop to take my prayers too. Which is right now. We done made it. We done made it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna be biased because of what I was talking about earlier. We made it in a reasonable time. We left around 10:30, 10:40 somewhere in there. We made it at around like 2 2:40. So we made it in a, a little, a little over four hours. It was like four hours, like two, three minutes, something like that. So traffic wasn't too bad. It wasn't. It was definitely better today than it was yesterday. So I, I guess, man. I guess. I guess. I'm with you when you're right. All right. I'm with you when you're right. So then I already dropped the trailer, as y'all can see. I already did my little walk around, so I ain't gonna do another. But uh, what I will do is take y'all inside with me so we can turn in that paperwork because right now we don't have nothing going back so i don't know i don't know if we waiting to go somewhere else from connecticut this time instead of back to new jersey 
which I mean, I wouldn't mind that being the case because I would rather not go back to New Jersey. But again, at the moment, we don't have anything, so I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go in here and ask her if we have anything. I'm not gonna ask her, uh, do we have anything going back to New Jersey? I'm just gonna ask her in general, do we have anything? And we're gonna go from there, so let walk up in thing. I'm not sure what the difference was today versus yesterday, but like I said, it definitely was not the same thing. And I just put in the wrong code. Y'all didn't even see that no way. So. If y'all even saw it, because I turned the camera so you couldn't see it. But yeah, pretty smooth, man. Pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Let's see if we got something. Have we ever showed y'all Connecticut? I don't think we ever showed y'all Connecticut. All right, so we don't have nothing. Like I thought, because we don't even have a pre plan. So, is it people in here? It's one person in there. Without showing him, this is just like the little break room. Whatever can it be. And that's really it. This room say a locker and laundry, but it's nothing but lockers in here. Nothing but lockers. That's it. First time I came to Connecticut, I just knew. I was like, oh, they got washers and dryer. No, they don't. So with that being said, let's see what we are about to get into. Let's see if we can do here what we had planned to do in New Jersey today. So we about to go to Walmart, to Dick's, and to the movies. So this is what we had planned to do in New Jersey today, but obviously we had to come up to Connecticut. But since we don't have nothing to leave in Connecticut, at least not at the moment, she looked, she said it wasn't nothing, which I told y'all that already. And if something do pop up, it's gonna have to wait till after I move because we already bought our tickets. <laughs> so, <laughs> movie started at 445, it is 325. We're gonna go to Walmart first, then Dick's. And the movie we are seeing is called Afraid. It's a horror movie. Honestly, don't look that scared, but I like the, the storyline behind it. And if we still here, not if we still here, yeah, if we still here tomorrow, we're gonna go see Beetlejuice tomorrow. Now, we might not record that because right really ain't no point but for the time being y'all come along with us walmart dicks because i i tell y'all once we get to dicks why we need to go to dicks it's not we want to go to dicks we need to go to dicks i tell y'all once we get to dicks but let's let's head to walmart video do you want to be in the video <laughs> All right, y'all, we have made it to Walmart. Let me lock the dub apes. I want to do automatic lock the other side. Because this truck does, in fact, have automatic locks. First line didn't. It does not automatic lock the other side. I'm glad I checked. All right, bet. We didn't go to Ontario. It sure need to be watched. That's why we was hoping we went to Ontario. I don't know if this angle showing up for y'all, but whatever. It ain't that important. We ain't a bit of a time crunch. Right. <laughs> Who is what they doing? You ain't lying. They over here fussing about some but shut up. Shut up. <laughs> no, they don't. I want to. I don't know if y'all could pick that up. Y'all probably could, cause he he was loud. He was loud. Is he in that? Yeah, yeah. They was in that Corolla right there. That's the suspects. If anything happened later, black Corolla. <laughs> Reporting the suspicious suspicion related to the crime. Oh yeah, we done made it to Walmart. The guy over there that parked behind us, he was fascinated. Yeah. Fascinated by the truck and that's all good and dandy, but when people ask like a lot of questions about something and stuff like that That kind of put me like on high alert. Yeah, and then when he had uh, when we walked away He um was like still looking at the truck. Yeah, was like, and he was like walking towards it. Yeah I don't know. That kind of put me on high alert, you know people People be scheming man All right, so this is all I need got us some more water I got some more Pringles to snack on. Got another box of cereal because my Frost Flakes almost gone. And I got me some fruit because I forgot to get some fruit the first time, man. So, that's it. Let's meet up with Babe. 
and see what she working with what all she getting do we need more napkins so i found this girl she don't know how to answer the phone it was on it was on what it was on what, it was on what? tighten up we waiting on chicken nugget now Okay. You bought me, baby. Yeah. Oh, you ain't pay for a bag? Oh, you ain't, you ain't checked that yet. I can say, you can't say F the bag and you already paid for it. Them bags ain't worth nothing anyway. We ain't even utilize the last bags we had like this. We did. Trash. Trash, exactly. Trash. <laughs> well, the truck's still here. So that's a good sign. Right. Did he did he try to tamper with it, boo? No. Honestly, I thought it was gonna stop. To be real, did he tamper with it, babe? Little scratchy scratch in there, but who's to say that he did that? All right. Give me your little basket. That little basket just wanna run away. Just got a mind of his own. What all you get, girl? Nothing. Cause Home I have nothing. You. Thank you. I said I didn't mean to snatch. Just feisty. I said I didn't Can't even help it. The cute tail cell. <laughs> <laughs> Got some fruity loopies. Noodles. I'm not supposed to get me something to snack on. That was really my whole purpose of going in there, but they didn't have what I wanted, and I'm not wasting no money on nothing that I don't want. Yeah, because it's like you feel miserable. Okay, don't do too much. I <laughs> I'm hot. I'm hot. You hot, babe? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So Bay just pointed out that we don't have, I don't even know what you would call that. What is that called? So I, I just gotta show y'all. I already noticed it, but Bay said she just noticed it. So this right here, I don't know if you call it like a bug guard or, I, I don't I don't know. But as you can see, it's on the driver's side, but we don't have one on the passenger side. And Bay just now realized. <laughs> All right, so everything is put up. In the truck, groceries up there, boom, water right there, boom, and fruits and stuff in, in the drawer. Time to head to Dick's. Sporting goods. <laughs> Look where we at. Can y'all see it? Dick's Sporting Goods. What you went around there to do? Lock the door. Lock the door. All right, come on. That is so universal, bro. <laughs> that is universal. That is so funny. What she was talking about? He wrote the card to the back of her leg. <laughs> it's so universal. <laughs> hey, that should that, that be hurting. It do be hurting. That be hurting. Oh All right, so now that we at Dicks, I told y'all, I tell y'all why we needed to come to Dicks. So, dog, music loud. Hopefully, I'm talking uh, loud enough over it. But the reason we needed to come to Dicks is because I didn't bring no shoes with me. Crazy man. All I brought with my slot. Where is my wife? I promise y'all, this this does not be a joke. Every time I turn around, it's it's poof, it's poof. She she was right here on my shoulder. Now look, where she at? Way over yonder. Boy, I tell you the truth. But yeah, like I was saying, I need some shoes. So my plan is to come here and I want a pair of hokas, preferably all black. I want some all black shoes. Even if it's not hokas, I want it to be all black. Now they're black and white. I probably could get away with. I do like the style, but I would preferably want all black. So we're gonna we're gonna see what I can find and what I come up with. Are these men's? Cause low key, all these don't feel like women. Let me find somebody to help me. So I'm thinking about just copping these right here. Big hokas, one fifty. All right, so I just need some shoes, man. Really to work out in. That's why I need shoes more than anything. Cause I got my boots. Like when I get out of the truck. But I need something to work out in. These, working out in these slides. Trying to jump rope specifically. Don't don't work. Don't work. But Hoka got some good colorways, man. They got some good colorways. But I preferably want something black that go with everything. So like when we go to the movies and stuff, like we finna do now, I have a pair of shoes that I can actually put on. So. I got tired of wearing them Crocs. <laughs> That's why I didn't bring no shoes. I was like, but, man, I ain't bringing but, no Crocs. But slick should have bought them. Yeah. That little no come in. <laughs> I said, yeah. He was like, this. He was like, 
<laughs> Cause I, I mean I did do everything in the Crocs, showered in the Crocs, worked out in the Crocs. So the Crocs were very versatile. But I got tired of using them, man. Tired of wearing them rather. Man, I want some I want some shoes with some color so bad, but that's not what we came here for. So we not gonna do I that. I like these, like the color of these. Yes, I like them. yes, I love them too. That's the color I was actually finna get. The uh, besides the green ones I got, it was between the green ones and them. I was like, no, I'm gonna get these green ones though. Yeah, so that's a black color right there. I was looking at just trying to get some Aces or some Brooks, but man, these are expensive too. Like, bro, when when did just running shoes get so expensive? Then look how ugly they is. They they are ugly. They are very ugly. At least Hoka have some kind of like design and style to them. It's just, baby, you can find this style at Walmart. <laughs> like, come on, man. I don't know when running shoes specific like these shoes are meant to just simply run in. That's it. Hundred and fifty dollars just for running shoes is, is wild. Man, I hope she got my size. She man, home. she been gone a good little Maybe minute. Maybe she had to have somebody else first. Maybe, cause I do like this shoe. I don't, I don't mind getting this at all. I actually like it, cause not only is it all black, but it kind of what you say, boot. Got a little yeah, it got a little shine to it. Oh, yeah, hey, that's what you said. Reflectiveness, that's what it's called. It's reflective. So I actually do like this shoe. I won't I won't just be spending $150 just because. I like them for real. So they only had the 10 and a half. They didn't have the 11. But a 10 and a half should be good though. Let me see me try them on real quick. Thank you, babe. You're welcome, love. I'm pretty sure my one's at home at 11 though. But should be alright. Go ahead and give him a walk around. Huh? I said go ahead and give him a walk around. Yeah. Or really give like me a walk feet. around, honestly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what they look like on my feet, girl? It look nice. What size is that? What size? It looks small. That look little, yeah. yeah really it look good on your feet though. They a little tight, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, well you need does that does she have a size up? She said she couldn't find them little. They definitely look little. <laughs> they not stupid little, but they look different from like when you wear forces and they be all big. Well, forces big. It's crazy because forces big, but they run small. Yeah, that is crazy. Actually, they run big. That's a lie. I lied. That that was a complete lie. Mm -hmm. Let me see if she That's so. I need the eleven. Y'all, he in the background. I'm struggling with these two cameras. He in the background. Can y'all see? <laughs> you got. <laughs> She found the 11, all too happy. I'm over here looking at Crocs. Yeah, I don't need no more Crocs, but I was looking at them. How about, Go ahead and try them on, babe. How about the, me like that. the display that we looked at was the fucking 11. Oh, wow. I said, that's on both our end. That's <laughs> on both our end, bro. Would have walked Go out of here with a 10 and a half and didn't even have to. All right. Go ahead and try it on, baby. Ooh, that's so much better. Okay, that's good. Ooh. <laughs> All right, this music loud. I'm trying to music talk loud, over. And let's I'm, go. I'm trying to talk over. It. <laughs> music loud and let's go see y'all move. Right, because we got already late. Right, four, it's four forty-four. <laughs> hey y'all, <laughs> we I have I have made it to the truck. We haven't made it yet. Babe's in there getting his purchase of his shoes. I'm glad he found something that he like. I like when he be happy. That makes me happy. But yeah, he's getting the shoes. And whenever we go, what I'm trying to say. Whenever we get ready to go to um, the movies, I'm going to buy our food. Usually, typically, he'll buy the tickets and I'll buy the food. So, whatever he want, I'll get him. That, I wasn't hungry at first, y'all, but now I'm starving. I'm so hungry. So, we're just waiting on him. We don't want to be late. We're already pushing it. We, we, we're really pushing it, but just waiting on him. He's still in the store. He's probably going to come out smiling. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll see y'all in a sec. We have made it to Sinmark. At 4.55, 10 minutes late, in typical time T fashion. <laughs> but I got my shoes though. Like I was telling Bay, I would have been here two minutes earlier had this man not tried to sell me on insoles. What you say to you, talking about my shoes. He's like, uh, looking at your feet, uh, your <laughs> your pronated, uh, super flat arches. I'm like, I don't know. You were what? <laughs> <laughs> trying to sell me on some insoles, man. But let's get inside and see. Afraid. We'll tell y'all about it after the fact. This is definitely an old Sin Mark. If you notice, babe, they don't even have any like 
posters and then on the outside. I did notice. I said, and I said, I'm like, what? It looked like, naked. It looked naked. <laughs> Bland and naked. Yeah, they don't even have posters on the outside. But whatever. Hey, this is what we got. This is what we're going to work with. So, <laughs> how'd you feel about the first movie? <laughs> Y'all, we just not leaving the movies, man. <laughs> how'd you feel about the first movie? It is 10 11. If y'all remember our movie started at, what was it? 445? Yeah. Right. It was 445. We were still at the place at 445. Yeah, we ain't get here to 5, basically. But, yeah. It's 10 o'clock, and we just not leaving the movie. <laughs> we ain't left yet, <laughs> as y'all can see. We legit just got it. All right. Same mark right there. <laughs> Uh, so we end up seeing two movies. We yeah. saw Afraid first, which I liked. I liked both of them, but I think I, I liked Afraid a little more. We saw Afraid first, and then we saw. Oh, yeah, I see we talk. <laughs> and then we saw uh, Blink Twice, which was also good. Yeah, which was they also were both good, good but I, like I said earlier, in movies, mine, my favorite one was Blink Twice. This is something that I really want to see. I want to see the other one too, but I think overall I'm giving I'm gonna give both of them like a nine out of ten. But my favorite one was Blink Twice. I I agree. I ain't got nothing to disagree with, man. But yeah, we saw two movies. So we saw one, and then we had to wait like two hours for Blink Twice to start. <sighs> took yeah. seemed like it took forever. It really didn't seem that long to me. I was just posted up outside chilling. What you doing? Same. Is movie hopping illegal? Now you know that's illegal. Move. I'm not. I'm not saying that's what we did. I'm just asking. Is movie hopping illegal? Cause like, especially if it's like an old movie, it ain't nobody in there. So like, they not checking tickets. I don't have nothing, nothing to say <laughs> at all. I'm just curious. Is moving hopping illegal? And, and like how illegal? It definitely can't be. It ain't go to jail illegal. Yeah, no, can't be. Well, you're not supposed to do it. Yeah. And how many people move y'all? Movie hopping is crazy. Okay. We saw three movies in uh, one night before. How long ago was this? We saw. I want to say we saw Super Mario. The Nun 2 and George Foreman. I think we saw I think we saw all three of them movies in one night. We was we were literally at the movies from from what? From like it was like one maybe 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 three. It was like three to eleven though. Three movies in one day is crazy. Yeah. That's why. We did it though. <laughs> we sure did it. We did. We were tired. We were tired. We, were tired. we, we tired from these little two movies. Like we did three. We was exhausted. For real. But now, we finna get back to the terminal now. So, uh, we'll, we'll see y'all in the morning. Because, <laughs> yeah. We, we, we ain't getting nothing else tonight. It's Good a night. wrap. Good night. It's a wrap. <laughs> Good afternoon. So, we been up, man. It is currently 1.42 Eastern Time. I did not stop my watch. I went for a little walk a minute ago. I forgot to stop my watch, but yeah, we've been up, but it wasn't really, we weren't really doing nothing, so we were just chilling. We had decided to go to a pilot later on, and we was gonna work out, get a shower and all that good stuff since we just sitting here. But good news, we just got a pre-plan to go to Xenia, Ohio at 7. Like I just said, it's 142, 143 now. So we're going to go ahead and hit the pilot now, get the workout in, catch the shower, come back, and then it'll still be early by the time we get back. The pilot 30 minutes away. We're going to work out there. We're going to shower there. We'll probably be back, I imagine, around about 4, 4.30. So there'll still be a few hours before the load is ready. Well, yeah, so let's go and get into it. Let's make sure baby is up. She should, she should be up. Should. Let's go, go check. Make sure this woman that got up. 
Warming you up and eat. Babe. Girl. What? You supposed you supposed to be up. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I told you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I told you once I finished that little walk, we're going to go and hit the pilot. Okay. Do you say it's like a 30 minute drive? So, you're going to stay back there? Yeah. Yeah. Why are we going so early anyway? It ain't going to be ready for 7. So, go on and get it out the way just in case they get it ready early. We'll be ready to rock and roll. Huh? No, what you say? I said, now you know that's a lie. I hope not. <laughs> Hopefully they got it really early, man. Go on, get your butt up, girl. They made it to the pilot. Baby's still laying down. I don't know how soon she gonna get up, but I'm finna go ahead and knock my work out the way. So, this, this guy next to me, you really need his butt whoop. Because this is two parking spots. But look how much he's over the line. Look at that. Like if I had a trailer, it would have been so difficult. I probably wouldn't even been able to get in here. To, to be honest, not without a spot. But since I was ball tatted, I'm, like, I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze through here because I didn't want to take up a full available parking spot where somebody else could park. And then it's reserved too. Like, come on, man. Just not considerate of others like whatsoever. You looked over here when you parked and seen you saw no line. If you don't see no line, that means you over it. That's just, that's that's wild to me. But nonetheless, I digress. Pull the weights out. The 40 pounders. Get the workout in, baby. And then get in the shower, wash my hair and stuff. And then get out and me and baby will check in with y'all then. If she don't pick up the camera when she get up, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm finna go and knock mine out. Oh yeah, I wanted to add too. This pilot is in Massachusetts. I didn't know that when I looked it up. Y'all know we in Connecticut, well, was in Connecticut, that's where the terminal at. And this was the closest truck stop, the closest pilot. And it was 30 minutes out. It was the closest one. So I didn't know it was in Massachusetts though. When I saw the welcome to Massachusetts, I was like, never been to Massachusetts. Now we have. <laughs> I just wanted to add that on there. So they go bay with crazy tail still. <laughs> that's my wife, y'all. That's my wife. Just crazy. It ain't time yet. Just we next. We next. So when we first got here, man, it was it was eight people ahead of us. Eight. But I didn't complete my workout already, so just wait till we go. I'm gonna go in. Then obviously by the time I finish, bacon come in right out the middle. Come in with me, it don't matter. But yeah, eight people ahead of us. That's crazy. All right, y'all, shower is ready. Shower 7. I was talking about we was going to be gone by 4, 4.30. What time did it? 3.56. We ain't even got in the shower yet. Our workout done, though. Technically, we could be still gone by 4.30. We not going to be, though. No, you got to wash your hair. Yeah, I got to wash my hair. My hair dirty, man. Shower 7. Put the code in, babe. 42090. This one got two shot. Yep. Yeah. This one got two shower heads. Ain't no light in there. Oh, that's crazy. I need to fix the light bulb. Did we start? Yeah. I left the two uh, shower heads in there. Yeah, the two shower heads. Fix it. It's yeah. creepy. Yeah. I don't want to take showers in the dark. But, yeah. Shower head for bait, shower head for me. Or shower head for bait, shower head for me. It don't really matter. Get your shower in, man. Feel good. Then get ready to head to Ohio. So we're gonna go ahead, knock the shower, knock out the tongue back, and then we're gonna get back to the terminal. So um, if don't nothing transpire. I like it. <laughs> I like it. If don't nothing transpire before now and then, we'll just see y'all at the terminal. Who the hell? It changed. <laughs> Got you in 4K, baby. We are back. Indeed. Like both flats. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, how's your workout? I work, man. My workout was good. I did three sets, upper body, three sets, lower body. Upper body, I did shoulders, 
back and chest and then lower body i did obviously the quads and hands of the main focus of anybody and then i did cardio I, I ran a little over half a mile it was like 0.6 mile and then i jumped a thousand jump ropes so a thousand. yeah so my, my, my workout was good man how was yours it was good too i went to do the uh, jump rope but i ain't had time enough time had to go take our shower because it was next. We had eight. We told we had eight people. Yeah, I told them we had eight people. Eight ahead people of us. ahead of us. It, it went by fast though. It did. Lie. It did go by fast because I looked at it. Um, when I first got there, so I didn't book it immediately because obviously once you ready, they only give you like ten minutes to get in the shower and then they're gonna give it to the next person. When we first got there, it was only two people. So I go back. Cool. Started working out. Saw so go up to four. Now saw so go up to six. I'm like. I didn't watch it go up yeah. to eight. I didn't actually. So I saw it go up to six. I correct myself. I was working out already as I was looking at it. Cause I was gonna book it like once I was towards the end of my workout. Cause like I said, once you are up, you only got 10 minutes to get in the shower. So I was doing legs and I was like, I'm gonna book it. I was like, I'm gonna book it to what? before I start doing cardio. That way I'm at the end of my workout with Kevin B. So when I last looked at it, Doing legs, it said six. I said, ooh. I said, let me do this last set of RDLs and then I'm gonna book it. Two more, bam, just like that. It's crazy though, cause when I booked it, it still said six. But after I booked it and it like actually reserved, it said eight ahead. I'm like, it just said six. Tis, tis, tis. So, yeah. It did go by fast though. Maybe good workout, good shower, head clean. Y'all see I got my rag on, man. Got a, Things in the back of y'all throat. <laughs> That's what it sound like. Ugh. I don't know what that was. And it flew out your mouth? No, it didn't. Yeah. I swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we just ate, so it probably was just. Um, your throat. Yeah. <laughs> Not like that. Big, huge paws. What they say now? No Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> Okay, we'll say tomato, tomato. Oh man. Oh, uh, anyway. Man, I lost my train of thought. That's disgusting. I lost my train. Of oh, I'm talking about my rag. See, I got my rag on. Just wash my hair clean, oiled it. Got to capture that moisture. Yeah. Hey, anyway. Man, yeah, we gonna wrap this video up on on that one. That's that's, we don't want that's it. crazy. <laughs> Basically, said me in my mouth. No did it. No did it. We ain't fought on no what you talking about. I guarantee you don't folks know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I guarantee you. Y'all yeah. know who 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 Puff Daddy he was. He been wildin', baby. He been wildin'. <laughs> See, he been wildin' since back in the day, clearly. That's oh, crazy. Way back in the day. It's crazy that it's just not coming since out. Since Big Papa. Well, you know, you know, Wendy. Wendy tried to expose yeah. him, though. Yeah. yeah. They that's, to that's when her show started. When it started dwindling. They weren't trying to hear that though. Did mm -hmm. it start? Uh, what is it? Blacklisting? Black? Blackballing? Black? Blacklisting? Black black Not blackmailing. Blacklisting. It gotta be blacklisting. Yeah, blacklisting. Black like when they when they stop you from like doing stuff and having people want to work with you and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, blackmailing. That's you know when people got something on you and they trying to influence you to do something you don't really want to do. But if you don't do it, then I'm gonna do this. You know, that type of thing, yeah. That could still go both ways. Yeah, he really could. Have y'all seen her situation lately? The girl. <laughs> Down yeah. here. We're trying to go right in there. You don't feel that, though. You don't. No, I don't feel that, though. All right, yeah. man. We got a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> So next next load we will be heading to Ohio. It's supposed to be ready at seven. It is six forty. So we're gonna see how they go. But that's gonna be in the next video. So without that being said, any new views? Hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully you return. You will. You heard why? To our current subs, our new subs, to the people that need subs, can you watch every video? Special special thanks to all of you for hey. tuning in <laughs> <laughs> to yet another legendary. Video, baby. Anybody that watch this video all the way to the end, pow, bing bong, peeny ping, pow, pay the piper, baby. Y'all, real MVPs, man. Cause y'all oh. help our channel go round. We wouldn't be growing as fast as we we're growing without y'all. Mm -hmm. Watching the videos all the way to the end, to the end. The people that comment, especially the people that comment too. 
Thank y'all, man. Appreciate Thank you. y'all. As Appreciate y'all see, you. we communicate back. Y'all not just talking to y'all selves in the comments. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Naughty game. Naughty game. Hit that bell icon so you. You get notified every time we upload, man. Woo! But you already know. You already know, babe. Every three days. You can expect another new upload slash video from us. It's all the same. Every three days. And that's on consistency. Big fat, big fat. Anyway, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Please like this video up. It helps us. Very, very much. Y'all been doing y'all big one lately. Y'all have, man. And Great. let us just say thank you to all the recent yes. new subs and support. Thank y'all, man. Yes. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your favorite couple on YouTube. Yep. Y'all been rolling. Come on, man. Y'all been rolling. We Come really, on, really, 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 really appreciate it. I'm doing my heart. Look at it. On the first Come try. On, ah! crazy, thank you. Y'all so, so like. What's MVP? Do the thing again. Do the do the do the thing again. Y'all that right there, cause y'all know I can't do it. <laughs> MVPs, man. For real. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Oh, hair in my mouth. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Like this video up. Until then, bye. We'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Mm-hmm. Doses. Hey.